Hi folks, a warm welcome to you. It's Nick here to guide you through another look at a Commodore 64 game. This one is Aquaplane, published by Quicksilver in 1983. The, uh, the idea is quite simple. It's stage or level based. You must control a speedboat, towing a water skier, and manoeuvre yourself around different obstacles, getting progressively more difficult between each, each stage over a certain time period and then you go to the next stage as long as you haven't died. Now these are the most dangerous waters ever known to man so we'll see just how long we can survive. So here's the speedboat we're towing our chap behind and stage one you've just got to move around these green logs sounds quite easy so all the controls are up and down and thrust I'm doing this on the uh, keyboard it's one and two for up and down, and it feels like they, they should be the reverse, but here we go. Anyway, we seem to have crashed into a log. We've got, I think we've got about four ships to do it in each time. Should be enough. Now, that is the engine's noise. It's not me blowing a raspberry or anything else. Um, right, we'll get around these, and I think the next stage is sailing ship. So, quit silver in 1983. I've already reviewed this on the ZX Spectrum. It plays ever so slightly different, but the idea is there. I probably like it on both systems. I really like the, um, the basic games the best, the ones from the early 80s. Never played this back in the day, of course, because I didn't own a Commodore 64, but I'm just appreciating the 8-bit glory. Now, I was a Spectrum man back in the day, but this is good as well. Is it better than the Spectrum version? Well, they play ever so slightly different, and I'd have them in equal uh, super first place. Right, past these sailing ships, which for some reason are brown. Stop blowing raspberries. Oh dear, I bashed into that boat. Now, these boats, I think, are made out of solid rock. So although uh, a normal sailing boat can destroy a speedboat, um, normally I would have thought we could just cut through them like they were tinfoil. But um, if we crash into them, we're dead straight away. The water skier's having fun. He really wished he book, uh, booked um, water skiing lessons with someone else. Let's try and hide up the top there, see if this is a good strategy. The boat seems to be moving left and right. I think we're going to be okay here. Getting a good score. The horizon I don't think changes, it's just those uh, five islands in the distance. So this isn't going to be a super long review, because I've pretty much shown you all the gameplay straight away. I don't know any cheats for this Commodore 64 game. But um, we'll just uh, try and survive. So it's going to end in death at some point. We just don't know when. The sea is quite calm. There's no waves. And we've done stage two. So what's next up? Well, there's a log coming at us. Another log. They really need to dredge this sea. It's not safe. Oh, my God. Ships coming at us. With propellers on the top. And they're going, ooh, ooh, ooh. For some reason. They sound like UFOs. Oh, I thought I could sneak past there. But obviously not. Now, once you get skilled at this game, you can be a bit flash and get the boat to go one side of the log and the skier to go the other side with a bit of acceleration. I might be able to do that, who knows? But showing off isn't really my bag, baby. Uh, we've got our last life here, so we're on ship four already. So I like the sounds of what they are. There isn't too many of them. Some people might say this is quite a basic game on the Commodore 64, but I would answer this is 1983. So the gaming was just like getting into um, its stride in the early 80s, where any idea was up for grabs. And I do like Aquaplane. It's a cool name. It's a cool idea for a game, and we're, we're happening. Right, this is the shark stage. And on the Spectrum version, I always struggle to get past this. You have to do a different pattern for each stage. Here the sharks do seem to come towards you. I think the, the tactics might be to drive towards them and go to the left or right at the last second. Right, so I avoided two. Last second. Avoided three. Oh, then I crashed into him. I should have gone straight down there. And that's it. All four lives gone. I think we'll have one other go on this one. So the Commodore 64 games uh, tend to go up on a Tuesday. We try and do three a week. At the time, we're on a one-month trial where the channel is full-time. After then, I don't know. If you want the channel to go full-time forever, then uh, please consider subscribing. That'll help. If you want to support it even more, then there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Right. Off we go again. Again, it's not me blowing raspberries. Let's try and get a bit further now. Speeding. What's your favourite speedboat game? Let me know. 
I'm a bit of a noob to the Commodore 64, so if you know of any other speedboat games, let me know, and um, we might come to the missing month trial. But at the moment, so many people suggested games I should try that um, I haven't uh, got time to do all of them. Um, yes, one person, or a few, quite a few people, suggested uh, Mayhem in Monsterland. I haven't been. Uh, this is emulated, by the way. I haven't been able to find a, a working file of. Uh, um, uh, monsters in no mayhem in Monsterland. I don't know if that's a new a new game or a homebrew. I haven't been able to find a copy of it. I'm afraid. So uh, if you know where there is a place I can download a copy of that, let me know. But at the moment we'll make do with Aquaplane. Um, not the biggest hit in the world, but it's all about seeing a mixture of games. I think to give you a bit of a balance of what the system could do, rather than just uh, reviewing all the good ones. What any reviewer would find on any on any channel. To begin with, they tend to review all the best games, or the games they're more familiar with when they're growing up in their childhood. And then when it gets to about 40 and 50, they have to start looking for new games that they might not have played. They've been aware of them, but might not have played them. And that's, from my mind, that's where the fun starts, where you start finding hidden gems you might not have known about in the past. It's great. It's a rich tapestry. I've probably played more retro games now than I did back as a kid. But there we go. That's, they're, uh, they're more accessible now. Right, I'm doing quite well here. Let's go around these boats. Might be a bit of show off. There we go. Show off bit. Yay, look at that. Two bits of show offs. So the boat one side, the skier the other side. And that's what professionals do. No difficulty modes in this. It just starts off with the same difficulty and gets progressively more difficult. Right, that must be it now, surely. We know the next stage is logs and those moving boats. Powered boats with the strange noises. Off we go, right, here we go. We're still on ship one, folks. Boo, 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 boo. Hopefully we can give those sharks a bit more of a run for their money if we get off this stage. But try and look, oh dear. Yeah, it's difficult trying to position two people at the same time. It's well coded, this, the position of the water skier relative to the boat. A good bit of coding so you know um, the ship goes quicker, the water skier changes direction accordingly, so a bit of inertia there. Oh, don't lose too many lives, Nick. Right, try and keep them as far away as possible. I mean, they're not coming directly at you like the sharks, these things. They are just random patterns. Find the space, look for the space, try and predict where the space is going to open up. Sound like UFOs in some Space Invaders game, like the UFO going across the top, but they're not. Hooray! Right, here we go, like sharks. So the tactic would be, drive straight at them and tear off at the last second. Missed, Sharky. That's one done. Come on, we can do this. Two done. Oh, damn. These sharks are huge. Do sharks hunt in packs? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. So this is a bit tough. Hold me on, I mean. Yep, missed. Back down again. Try and give yourself a bit of space in the water. That's not good. It sounds like he just deflated my lilo. Is this an inflatable speedboat? That's not good. Inflatable speedboats are not good against sharks. And this is our last ship here. Doom can be imminent. Oh no, and we're dead. A gang of sharks is not the best thing for long life. But you, mind you, it's better than swimming, isn't it? Against the uh, jaws. N -n 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 -n. So I think I've shown you all the gameplay that that game has to offer. Good, good, good. Well, I hope you liked having a, a look at that one. That was uh, that was pretty good to see. Um, that was Aquaplane on the Commodore 64, published by Quicksilver in 1983. Do check out my review of it on the ZX Spectrum as well, see how the two compare. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're more than welcome. And uh, if you want to help the channel grow, lend your support, uh, please subscribe. That always helps grow the figures. If you want to, as I mentioned before, if you want to support the channel even more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.